What's up, party people? So Salt Bay, you probably know him as the guy that sprinkles salt everywhere. And from that, he's become a walking meme. But ever since the Salt Bay meme happened, he's tried to recreate that magic in other videos with no success. And after doing more research on Salt Bay, he is uh, an interesting guy. He compares himself to Scarface, which very odd person to compare yourself to. So today I want to look at some of these Salt Bay videos and look into his more recent endeavors. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Salt Bay, not a really good guy. This first video with Salt Bay making the most inefficient sandwich I have ever seen. Oh yeah, that other me is now useless. I don't even think raccoons would waste their time with that. Also, I'm 99% sure you're not supposed to put raw yeah. meat on bread. That's how you get food poisoning. Unless that's the whole point of this sandwich is to give someone food poisoning. And if that's the case, you're doing great. <laughs> When you squeeze on something that hard and no juices come out, that's how you know that steak is drier than tan bark. Now, do you want to see a video where Salt Bay tries to show off his meat juices? So Salt Bay tries to figure out which food has more juices in them, this lemon or this golden burger. And viewer beware, this gets pretty gross. All right, is it just me or is he squeezing that burger way harder than the lemon? Also, has no one told him that burgers shouldn't be that juicy? And like, I'm no expert, but it looks pretty raw to me. It's so raw, if I tried to eat that, I'd be afraid it was gonna moo at me. I guess at the end, the burger juices win and Salt Bay has these insightful words. That is juice! Wow, what a great observation! You get a star! What is that? You want a golden star? Oh, I can't do that. If you make food that looks better than anything out of an Easy Bake Oven, then I'll think about it. Now, I'm gonna be honest here, I think Salt Bay hates avocados. Like, dude, the tops of those avocados were edible. Millennials are gonna hate you, man. Okay, first off, love the music. I feel like I'm watching the next Mission Impossible movie. But the avocado looks like the grossest canned food I have ever seen. And Solfe has a little catchphrase too. Avocado. He says this for every avocado video he does. Avocado. 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 All the time. I'm surprised he doesn't have a shirt that says avocado on it. Now, Salt Bay also likes to play Fruit Ninja, but in real life. I love the little grunts he adds in. It's like he's training to be a tennis player. But there are some foods that Salt Bay refuses to cut. Ugh. Dude, did you really just kiss raw meat? That's disgusting. Look at all that food hitting the ground. Like, do you think he's cleaning that up? Yeah, I didn't think so. Now this next video is definitely Salt Bay's biggest budget for Fruit Ninja. The music, the sound effects. I'm sure Christopher Nolan was jealous he didn't get to direct. I love that Salt Bay genuinely looks scared when that food's coming at him. He's like, Wah! 
<laughs> we gotta keep Salty on his toes, you know? Like maybe we throw a bomb at him, like in the real Fruit Ninja game. That'll test his reflexes. Avocado. Is he about to make out with that avocado? Look at that and tell me they aren't about to do it. You know, maybe Salt Bay and Avocados were just going through a rough patch when he made all those videos. Honestly, I'm glad they worked through their problems. Get someone to look at you like the way Salt Bay looks at avocados. <sighs> so those were Salt Bay's weird videos, but what type of food does he actually serve at this restaurant? Or is this just a place to make weird Instagram videos? Now, I know this might come to you as a shocker, but Salt Bay actually does serve food at his restaurants. The food that Salt Bay serves does not look good, to put it nicely. Here's one of his dishes where he just dumps a whole pot of hot butter on the food. Okay. A lot to break down there. Starting off, the food literally looks like it has not been cooked yet, so gross. Then did he put a whole stick of butter on that steak? Because if I put that much butter on my popcorn, I'm pretty sure I would get banned at every movie theater. Then the salt he drops literally hits everywhere but the meat. And what was up with that kiss at the end? If only that fiery tension could cook meat. Salt Bay's menu is also insane. His whole thing is that you can buy food with gold on it. It is literally so extra. There is a golden steak, a golden skirt, and even a golden cappuccino. So I have to ask, does gold taste like anything? Because I didn't realize the most exclusive restaurant in the world was Fort Knox. The most iconic gold food has to be the gold steak tomahawk, which costs a thousand dollars, which is insane. But the craziest thing is the steak looks awful. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It looks like a weird yellow tin foil. It's actually sort of funny. Someone recreated this steak. And do you want to take a guess on how much it cost him to make? $64. So originally I was thinking about going to Salt Bay's LA restaurant, but uh, then I checked in on some of the prices and holy crap. Look at one of these receipts from a Salt Bay restaurant. $12 for mashed potatoes, $14 for broccoli, and $18 for asparagus. Asparagus. Do you want to know something crazier? This is a receipt from the UK, so all these items are in pounds. So in the US, these items cost mashed potatoes $14.50, broccoli $16.90, asparagus $21.70. There are a ton of receipts online with people complaining about how much it costs to eat at one of Salt Bay's restaurants. Someone ended up spending $37,000 in a Salt Bay restaurant, but the craziest thing is, it's the same receipt from the UK. So in the US, it would have cost someone $45,000 to eat at this place. I know if you're spending $45,000 on one dinner, you're probably doing fine, but still, the restaurant marks up these prices like hell. If you look at the receipt, they actually got charged for water, which is always a douchey move. In the US, they would have been paying $13.25 for Red Bull, which Red Bull and a crappy steak, I feel like really go hand in hand together. And then for two bottles of wine, they spent $24,000. I looked this bottle up online and it cost two and a half grand for one bottle. So two bottles should be five grand. So they marked this up almost 500%. And here's the thing, the food still looks awful. If you look at any of these restaurants Yelp reviews, they're not very good. We're gonna check out the LA reviews. First off, never good to see more dollar signs than rated stars for a restaurant. A lot of reviews say that the food is overpriced and not that good. One person claims that the table show ended when one of their friends got covered in lamb's blood, which we all like being covered in lamb's blood, but not at dinner. So maybe fine dining, 
isn't salt-based thing. Maybe the fast food industry is more up his speed because he actually owns a burger joint in New York. And you know this place must be bumping because it's only open for an hour and a half every day. At first glance, the price is seem to be on the higher end, but maybe you're getting more food. Let's see, for $19, you can get a Salt Bay Burger, which looks like this. Okay, not gonna lie, I don't think that's worth $19. They have a Golden Burger, which is $120 and looks like this. And honestly, again, it looks really gross. It must not be a popular item either because on the whole Yelp page, there's only one picture of it. Again, does gold taste like anything? So the food isn't great, but still really expensive. So maybe he's paying his staff really well. Yeah, his workers get paid minimum wage. It would take forever for these workers to save enough money to eat at the restaurant they work at. And Salt Bay sounds like an awful boss. There are a ton of lawsuits from ex-employees suing Salt Bay. The lawsuits claim that Salt Bay would take waiters' tips, underpay his workers, and then not pay for overtime. Salt Bay then didn't pay his contractors that built a restaurant for him. Sounds like Salt Bay is pretty sexist too. But guys, it's okay because Salt Bay took the time out of his day to teach his workers how to clean dishes. How is he doing that? Focus. Clean. Clean all the time. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Thank you, I had no idea how to clean dishes before you showed me. So I don't think I'm out of line by saying that Salt Bay makes stupid videos, is a horrible boss, and makes bad food. But here's the thing, I haven't tried Salt Bay's food, so I can't really say if it's good or bad, and I am not going to one of his restaurants. So I decided to check out his website and found out I could get six of his Wagyu burger patties for 50 bucks. And to do my research properly, I felt like I had to try these burgers out, so... I bought them. This is the first time I'm using my own money for a video, so if there's anything you guys could do to help me out, I don't know what you could do, but if there's anything that comes to your mind, <coughs> I was all ready to pay $50 for my burger patties, and then at checkout, they charged me for two-day shipping. <coughs> Then I waited a week to get my food, but I didn't care. I was about to have top quality food at my house with no chance of getting lamb's blood on me. Finally, the food had arrived. Okay, so I just got the box. It's uh, very nicely labeled and everything. Uh, I gotta respect on that. One thing is, it sort of smells not like terribly, but like I noticed it and it is wet on the sides. So I'm hoping that's just ice that has melted and not the food because I spent a lot of money getting this, but we will see. As I opened the box, I was optimistic and I was happy to see that the beef was approved by Salt Bay. They even gave me a little certificate and everything. Yo, we gotta frame this, right? But as I opened the box, the realization of what was going on hit me. They're definitely not cold. They're definitely lukewarm. The meats were warm and squishy and slightly stunk, and the ice packs had been completely liquefied at this point and had melted throughout the box. Oh god, it's all wet. Um, okay, yeah. Little concern. Look, they've not been cold for a very long time. And then... It hit me. I don't think this is good. There was no way anyone could eat this meat, and that's because the food had gone bad and not just because it was salt-based food. To say I was disappointed, that's an understatement, but I was just like, what can I do now? Then it hit me. Salt Bay never ate his food. No, it was never about the food. It was about making art with the food. And that's what I had to do, make art with food. And lucky for me, I was about to go on a long trip, so I was gonna throw out all my kitchen food anyways. It smells like someone just ripped hard ass in this.
I felt Salt Bay's energy flowing through my veins. I was making food and I had no idea what I was doing. And I knew that's what Salt Bay would want me to do. My reflexes started to increase. I felt like I was transcending Salt Bay and becoming something even bigger. Yes, I was becoming Pepper Bay. It was weird. I had the sudden urge to underpay my staff and overcharge for asparagus. Then I created my masterpiece, the Silver Burger. The kitchen was smelling, the FDA did not approve of any of my foods, and the meats were mooing. But I didn't care. My inspiration could not be stopped. This was a high I could not describe. Now, would I spend more money to recreate this high? No, this, this was a waste of money, and uh, I, I hope I get a refund.